we have already learned what prepositions are. So, a preposition is a word that shows the relation between a noun or a pronoun and the other words in a sentence. Now, we have already learned about different prepositions in the earlier lectures. Today, we are going to learn about some more prepositions. He carried the groceries for her. Now, in this sentence, we see that for is the preposition. So, what do we understand from this sentence? That this man is helping this elderly woman to carry the groceries. So, he is carrying the groceries on behalf of her. So, the preposition for here stands for on behalf of. She is working for NASA. Once again, for is the preposition in the sentence. And here too, the meaning is on behalf of. So, she has been hired or employed by NASA to work on behalf of the organization. Therefore, for is the preposition which means on behalf of. Hima Das ran for India at the World Under 20 Championships. Here, for means to represent. That means Hima Das ran representing India at the World Under 20 Championships. Let us cheer for these talented players. Now here, cheer for and for is the preposition in the sentence. When we say cheer for somebody, we mean to support them. That is cheering in support of these talented players. So for here means to support. Jammu and Kashmir is famous for its stunning landscapes. Now for here means because of. So for is the preposition which gives us the reason. So why is Jammu and Kashmir famous? It is famous for its stunning landscapes. The movie was nominated for an Oscar award. So for is once again the preposition. And here for is giving us a sense of purpose. So why was this movie nominated? It was nominated for the purpose of winning an Oscar award. So for gives the sense of purpose. The students are ready for their examinations. So for is the preposition in this sentence. And what is for telling us? It is once again giving us the sense of purpose. So, the students are ready for the purpose of their examinations. She bought a new machine for making coffee. So, here too, for is the preposition and it is giving us the meaning of a purpose. So, why did she buy a new machine? She bought a new machine in order to make coffee. The man was running for the train. Here too, our preposition is for and once again the meaning is purpose. So, the man was running in order to get the train or in order to catch the train. They went to the monk for advice. So, here for is the preposition and it gives the meaning of purpose. So, they went to the monk in order to get advice or for the purpose of getting some advice. So, for once again means purpose. This train is leaving for Delhi. Now, here for is the preposition but the meaning is a little different. So, here for is giving us the sense of destination. So, where is this train ultimately reaching? It's reaching Delhi. So, once it leaves, it will directly go to Delhi. Photographers have an appetite for the beauty of nature. So, here for is the preposition and it is giving us a sense of 
in relation to something. So, when we say appetite for the beauty of nature, we mean appetite in relation to or with regards to the beauty of nature. So, for often helps us to show relation between two things. The summer has been unbearably hot for Rajasthan. Now here, for is the preposition. And once again, the meaning is in relation to or with regards to. So the summer has been unbearably hot in relation to Rajasthan or with regards to Rajasthan. In another way, you can see there is a sense of comparison. So, unlike the other summers of Rajasthan, this summer has been unbearably hot. This shirt looks a little big for me. Now, once again, for is the preposition and it is showing a relation. So, it is a little big in relation to me or with regards to me. Like the previous example, here too, there is a sense of comparison. So, the shirt is bigger than me or the shirt is a little big compared to me. The engineer said that he would repair my computer for $200. Now, here for is the preposition and the meaning is very different from the earlier ones. So, here for means in exchange of something. So, he would repair my computer in exchange of $200. So, we have learned quite a number of uses of the preposition for till now. Now, let us look at one exercise. Fill in the blank with the appropriate preposition. She got an award dash bravery and the options given to us are for and on. So, what do you think will be the answer? Well, if we say she got an award on bravery, so does it really make any sense? Not really. So, what should be the correct answer? It should be for. So, when I say she got an award for bravery, I mean she got an award because of her bravery. So, for here is giving us the sense of reason. So, the correct answer would be for. Now, we have learned about the different uses of the preposition for and by now you must have understood that the same preposition can have different uses depending on the context on which it is used. So, in order to master it, you need to practice more and more sentences with the preposition for or go through examples which has the preposition for in it. We are going to learn about more prepositions very soon. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to get all learning resources as per ICSC, CBSC, IB, Cambridge or any other curriculum. Over 5000 amazing lectures across Maths, Science, English and Social Science. Our unique interactive video technology keeps you engaged and our iDictionary feature allows you to quickly revise any concept. Master each topic at your own pace with our adaptive practice technology and 1 million plus questions. Get instant answers and detailed solutions. Be exam ready by taking unlimited mock tests. Performance analysis along with actionable feedback. Personal tutors to resolve your slightest of doubts. That's not all. You can also win amazing prizes like PlayStation, iPad, watches and many more along with certificates through our Earn As You Learn program. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, it is rewarding too. So register for free now.